I see angry confrontations on the street almost every day here. In June, 400 people were killed in Kyrgyzstan south, in clashes between Kyrgyz and Uzbeks, the largest minority here. I've never been to a place so full of recent trauma. I can see it in people's faces. It's everywhere I look. But after a year of violent revolution and ethnic clashes, Kyrgyzstan is also a place of great change. A generation born entirely after Kyrgyzstan's independence is coming of age. In the only country with both US and Russian military bases, a great experiment is about to take place here. Central Asia's first parliamentary elections, real democracy, and it's young people driving the change. My name is Mirsaljan. I am very old. I'm 23. Our goal is um, promoting free market ideas and principles and reforms in Central Asia, but mostly in Kyrgyzstan. Can you describe who's with you in this room? Uh, bloggers, Twitter users, uh, and other people who were very active during the recent violence, and we were trying to stop the violence. This team is unique. And interesting. Well, joining me today to discuss the topic in Bishkek... In a country where the average age is just 25, Mizuljan is a new breed of leader. He's already signed a memorandum of cooperation with the Kyrgyz government to reduce corruption. Freedom belongs uh, to the person, not to the government. And our lives uh, belong to ourselves as well. What looks like optimism and unity in the capital, Bishkek, belies a very different story in the south of the country, a 14-hour drive. In 1921, Stalin drew lines on this map to create his stans. The lines arbitrarily carved up ethnic groups too. Osh, our destination right near the border of Uzbekistan, is the biggest city in one of these enclaves. In southern Kyrgyzstan, and there are more signs the clashes were not random. The refuse the number of dead after days of ethnic clashes in Kyrgyzstan Almost may be all much higher. ethnic Uzbeks who fled violent rampages by ethnic Kurds in the cities of Osh and Jalalabad. Ill meet people affected by crisis. Be careful. Take care of them. Mm. Don't forget about their feelings because they already hurt it enough. Uh, especially children. The Red Cross is warning of a humanitarian crisis along the border of Kyrgyzstan and Uzbekistan. Four days of ethnic violence in southern Kyrgyzstan has unleashed a flood of refugees. I'm <laughs> I'm not going to vote because Kyrgyz people say that we're Uzbeks and there's no need for Uzbeks to vote because Uzbeks won't change anything. This is what I hear in public transport and on the streets. They tell me only Kyrgyz should live in Kyrgyzstan. There's another rumour that after the elections there'll be a war. We've all prepared one bag with clothes and documents and we keep it close. In case something bad happens, we can grab the bag and run. These young Kyrgyz men train here almost every day. Academic research connects this club with powerful nationalist politicians. I have lots of fans in Kyrgyzstan. 
I'm already famous in my country, so I'm trying to show myself on the world stage now in order to make Kyrgyzstan famous. I'm going to be a big shot. Yeah, I participated in the conflicts in June. I myself live in Furkar, in the Osh province. The first signs of this conflict started in my hometown, this war between Uzbeks and Kyrgyz. The first days were really hard for the Kyrgyz people, because they didn't have guns or weapons. Since we weren't armed, we retaliated. To be honest, there are about 2,000 to 3,000 of us, all young male Kyrgyz patriots. If one person burns one house, just imagine how many houses were burnt. Should I feel guilty? I don't feel guilty at all. On the contrary, I'm extremely proud of the things I did. I showed that I was Kyrgyz. The elections left no clear winner. Counting would continue for weeks. But the protests began right away. With no clear direction for the country, its young people are still faced with that age-old question. Get out or stay to make a difference? This is my country. I speak the language and uh, it's also beautiful. And also I, I'm very much satisfied when, when I really do some change. So here I still see it. If I wouldn't see this possibility for me, I wouldn't live here.